Hello, and welcome to the summary edition of Kennedy Saves the World. I'm wearing pink because, not because of Barbie. I haven't seen Barbie yet. I saw Oppenheimer. I'll see Barbie. I don't even care. But it's still summer. I still smell like sun bum zinc face sunscreen and their coconutty leave-in hair conditioner. It is still summer. It's not Labor Day yet. It is summer. That means there's no boots. There's no vests. There's no wool caps. There, there are no umbrellas, even if it's raining, because it's summer, and everyone knows that summer means warm rain. It also means no pumpkin spice anything. Not, and I think after Labor Day is too soon. I don't think any of that stuff should exist until October 1st, which is Halloween month. I don't want to see candy corns. I don't want to see pumpkins. I don't, I don't want to see any of those decorations, because here is what happens. We burn out on those things too quickly. We look forward to them because we have abstained from them for a number of months. Starbucks released the PSL, the pumpkin spice latte, last week. Dunkin' Donuts did the same thing August 16th. You're going to make money. People, they want caffeine. And continue with your summery drinks, your iced coffees, your iced mocha choco latte. People want all of that stuff because Summer makes people happy. It takes them back to a time where they didn't have jobs, where school was out of session, where you were on road trips with your friends. It was all about the beach or a body of water or maybe a vacation where you got to completely unplug. And when the sun hits your skin, you still feel that way. It doesn't matter how old you are or how removed you are from childhood or high school or any of that stuff. Summer should still, if you had a good time growing up, and if you didn't, I feel bad for you, so this is not for you. Summer should make you feel good because it's special and it is fleeting, especially when there are wildfires and tragedies and political turmoil. Those moments we get of summer when we are completely unplugged and we are completely in the zone with our friends, that should be a sacred and special time that should not be encroached upon in August. And, and this goes back to my Let the Turkey Cool campaign, because I think that we are really suffering from seasonal drift, and we need to do a better job of appropriately separating the seasons. And that means that PSL season is not until the very last kids have gone back to school, even if that's the end of September, early October. I'm fine with that. That's uh, late September. That's when you should be apple picking. That's when you should just start thinking about making an apple pie and some caramel sauce to go along with it. That's when you have the first hint of fall cocktails. You know, that's when, when you start screwing around with the pumpkin martini, which I made last year, and they're very good. But you have to have a, a wider mesh strainer than you think. That's another podcast for another day. But Please, in the name of all that's holy, stop pushing things back. Let us just enjoy the moment. That's one of the reasons that, that people are having a mental health crisis is they're taken so far out of the moment, not just by consumerism and social media, but by the idea that they're missing out on something that's happening in the future. And that's what you're doing to people when you introduce these things way too early. They don't need them that early. No one needs pumpkin in August. I'm not wrong about this. And I know people who can't stand pumpkin. They think it's disgusting. They think it is the devil. I am not one of those people. I love pumpkin spice anything. I love pumpkin bread with cream cheese frosting. I love pumpkin pie. I love sweet potato pie. You put a little bit of bourbon in it, a little bit of maple syrup, maybe a lot of maple syrup. And it makes it extra delicious. I enjoy all of those things because I'm not a communist, but I am a rationalist. And so you're like, oh, what's let the turkey cool? So that is... <laughs> No Christmas decorations until the turkey is cool. No Christmas celebrations, no Christmas trees, no wreaths, nothing until the turkey has cooled. I'm talking about the Thanksgiving turkey. You celebrate the beginning of fall with your pumpkin spice bullshit. You go apple picking, and then you have Halloween season, which we know Halloween is no longer a day. There's Halloween. It's the entire of October. I I get I'm fine with that. I love Halloween. Might be my favorite holiday. You, you stretch that, milk it, but keep it within the confines of October. And then you flip the script and you go into your later fall specialties and concoctions. You start practicing for Thanksgiving dinner. Then 
Thanksgiving is a holiday and a month unto itself. That is the only thing that exists. Christmas does not exist. The holidays do not exist until we flip the Thanksgiving page. And you can't do that until the turkey has cooled. But we need to let the turkey cool everywhere. I don't want to see Valentine's hearts on January 1st. And I'm not wrong about this. I'm not being a pumpkin Grinch. Just enjoy the moment you're in before you leapfrog into the next part of the year. It will still be there for you. And then when you're over it, when you've had too much pumpkin, you will remember my voice in your head because you extended pumpkin spice season for three weeks too long. And now the thought of an eggnog latte makes you want to choke. That's not my fault. You overdid it. And we have to practice more seasonal mindfulness so we don't suffer from seasonal drift. So this year, when you're tempted to get your Christmas tree, November 15th, just remember, those things die and no one wants a dead Christmas tree with brown needles on December 21st. That, that's, that's, then you'll, you'll feel like the Grinch. Then you'll feel bad. I'm trying to save you from that. I'm trying to extend your joy by compartmentalizing it throughout the year. So hold on to summer as long as you can. Changes come around real soon. Make us women and men and thems. This has been Kennedy Saves the World. I'm Kennedy.